How's it going people, I'm Waterfields1 and welcome back to the PS4 News where we round up all the biggest headlines from the world of PlayStation over the past week. Let's do it. First up this week, firmware update 5.50 is now in beta and codes are literally everywhere. Every man and his dog has a code for this firmware beta. Um, check Twitter if you haven't got one. I can almost guarantee you will get a beta code in about 30 seconds flat. Anyway, the headline improvements are a time management system which allows you to limit the amount of time the PlayStation is able to be played. Obviously, it's designed for children, but also quite a nice touch is they will get notifications to remind them to save the game as the time approaches the end which I think is actually pretty cool there's huge improvements to the quick start menu and library you can basically see your PlayStation Plus collection which I think is awesome because there are so many games that I got in PlayStation Plus that I never installed and played so it's pretty cool to be able to check that out there's also super sampling which means that ps4 pro owners who do not own a 4k tv why would you buy a playstation 4 pro and not have a 4k tv first off that that's baffling to me but anyway if you are one of those people then the system will now enhance your graphics on your normal 1080p tv apparently which is pretty awesome it's only going to take place on certain games but super sampling is now a thing and that is your firmware update 5.5 zero currently in beta. Sleeping Dogs is set to get its very own movie. Star Wars Rogue One star Donnie Yen has confirmed via social media that he will be starring in the Sleeping Dogs movie. No word on a release date, but let's be honest, it's bound to be pretty cool. So Sleeping Dogs will have its own movie at some point in the future. Without a doubt, the biggest story of the week has been splattered all over the internet via multiple sources, but it does look like the next Call of Duty game will indeed be Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Activision have yet to comment, but of course they will not comment until they release a trailer for the game. Fingers crossed it returns to the Cold War. I really hope it does. I hope they scrap the whole futuristic thing that they did with the last game. Obviously, Infinite Warfare fell flat on its face, and Call of Duty World War II has been a relative success for the series. So fingers crossed Black Ops 4 continues down the traditional Call of Duty route, but we'll have to wait and see. Activision have yet to confirm, but the sheer number of people saying it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 4 surely means it will be Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this year. Capcom have released the first patch for Monster Hunter World. It's live now on the PlayStation 4 and it fixes multiplayer squads on PS4 as well as a number of bugs and glitches. They've all been fixed. There's a huge list on the Capcom blog. Unfortunately for Xbox players they are still struggling with the online matchmaker but who actually cares about that? Not me. Fortnite have announced they are set to launch their Valentine's event on February the 14th. There'll be new skins made available as well as a brand new crossbow weapon fitting quite nicely with the idea of Cupid, of course. So yes, if you are lonely on February the 14th, then jump onto Fortnite because there's lots of brand new stuff to do. Sticking with Valentine's, Bungie have announced as part of their Crimson Days Valentine's event, the figurehead, the headline act, will be that the Burning Shrine map from Destiny 1 is on its way to Destiny 2, renamed as Burnout and be launched as part of the Crimson Days event. So really, looking at this list, if you are lonely on Valentine's Day, you've got it pretty sorted. Warner Bros have announced the story expansion for Middle Earth Shadow of War. It's out right now. It's called The Blades of Galidlil. That's my attempt to pronounce that. It'll cost you £11.99p or it's of course part of the season pass. This game, Shadow of War, seems to be sticking people, but not a lot of people are actually talking about it as far as I can see anyway. So if you've played Middle Earth Shadow of War or if you're playing Middle Earth Shadow of War. Let me know about it in the comment section below because I'm genuinely interested to see if it's any good. The Surge 2 has been announced via a new screenshot. The action RPG has a very vague 2019 release window and that is all we know about it at the moment. There are no trailers, there's one screenshot, but The Surge 2 will be coming to the PlayStation 4 in 2019. Ubisoft have confirmed that dedicated servers will be launched for Season 5 of For Honor. There's no official release date for the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 dedicated servers. However, they will be coming at some point. So yes, For Honor players rejoice because you guys are getting dedicated servers for Season 5 of For Honor. And now it's everybody's favourite time of the week. It's time for your game trailer of the week. 
Hello, and welcome back to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Your first task is to build a bridge so that a test vehicle can reach the test chamber exit. From now on, interlinked portals will always have matching colors. Vehicle pads may cross when there are several portal pairs. But please don't panic as this may distract the drivers. Please note, to protect valuable testing apparatus, vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. The red, heavy-duty super colliding super button must be permanently pressed to hold the door open. The advice for this test chamber is as follows. Build a clear initial slice for the air to the upper exit. Very simple. Dispensing product. The Enrichment Center would like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. Excellent. Your ability to destroy without question is quite impressive. Konami have announced a brand new beta for Metal Gear Survive. It will launch on the 16th and run until the 18th of February 2018. There's going to be three new missions across two maps for up to four players to experience. That's the Metal Gear Survive beta, the final beta apparently, running from the 16th all the way through to the 18th of February. Vampire has its official launch date. It will be with us on the 5th of June 2018. That's Vampire spelt V A M P. Y R for some reason, but Vampire officially launching on the PlayStation 4 on the 5th of June 2018. The final story of the week is your UK game sales chart and holding strong at number one is Monster Hunter World. Number two, it's new, is EA Sports UFC 3. Number three is FIFA 18. Number four, Call of Duty World War 2. Number five, Dizadia Final Fantasy NT. Number six is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Number seven is Gran Turismo Sport. Number eight, Grand Theft Auto 5. Number nine, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And number 10, Final Fantasy 12: The Zodiac Age. There you have it. That is it for this week's PS4 News Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As it stands right now, I need 328 subscribers to hit the 1,000 target. So if you are new around here, then hit that subscribe button and help this channel to grow. Welcome and thank you to all the new and existing subscribers, of course. But apart from that, enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. I am Waterfields1. See you later.